Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a company logo to your main menu and link it to your website. So when someone clicks on it, it takes them to your website. Lots of people have asked me how I got the Access Learning Zone logo on the main menu in the Tech Help free template. Right? This guy right here. How would I put that there? I'm not exactly sure that I showed how to do this in one of the tech help videos. Now I know I showed you how to make the main menu form in the blank template, which is the first video of the series. And then the second video was the contact management one. And again, I, I quickly went through this and I didn't see the main menu logo in that one. And then in the third video, the invoicing video, it just magically appears. All right, about three minutes in, boom, there it is. I just, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember putting it in there, but I don't think I put it in there on camera. I just dropped it in there. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I did. And yeah, I searched my website and I, I can't, I can't find it. So if you can find it in another one of my videos, let me know. <laughs> so this is literally just an image and I set a hyperlink property on it. Now, I know in lots of my previous videos, I say not to store images in your database. And that is generally true. But what I'm talking about, and a lot of people have, have misconstrued what I said, I mean, don't store images in your tables. Don't store images for like employees, like their employee photo or customer photos or product photos. Those should all be external files and you just store their path and file name in the database. But that doesn't apply to images that you want to use in the design of the database itself, in your forms, in your reports, right? Like a company logo, for example. That's perfectly fine to store in the database because usually there's only a few of these. You're not going to have tons of them. Now, lots of people have also emailed me saying, how did I design this? Honestly, I just use PowerPoint or Word to put something like this together. Obviously, I grabbed the Access logo off of one of Microsoft's site, right? And I just use Word art or text art or whatever to put that on a rectangle. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. I cover this in a lot more detail in my Microsoft Word class. I show you how to put together images like this, but I'm just going to run through it real fast. Obviously, if you know Photoshop or, you know, something with a lot more, you know, advanced parts and molecular structures, and if you're a graphic designer, then you could skip this. But this is how I quickly throw together a logo like that. So just open up Word, and if you got access, chances are you got Word too. Go to a blank document. I'm just going to insert a shape, right? Insert shapes, pick a rectangle. It's the easiest thing to make a button out of, all right? Whatever size you want your logo to be, okay? You could change the background by using shape fill. You could put a picture in it. I like using gradients for buttons and logos and stuff. Maybe something like that. If you want to customize it, right click. Come down to format shape. All right, you could change the fill, you could change the line, maybe come over here and change one of the gradient stops, make this darker if you want to, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, this will change how much the gradient is between, all right, see that? Lots of cool stuff in here. I could spend hours going over all this stuff, and in fact, I do in my word classes. All right, now to add text here, you can either right click and go to add text, or if you want fancier text, you can insert some word art. So go to insert. And then right over here under the text section is word art. And there's all kinds of fancy, cool stuff in here. You can pick one of these. I'll pick that guy. All right. Now, this seems like it's overlaying it, but we're going to put in here. All right. Like the NX01. All right. And then you can move this. You can resize it. You can make the text bigger. All right. Select it. Make it larger. Whatever you want to do. All right. Change the color, change the fill, change, you know, all the, all the same things you, you probably know how to do already, right? Like this. All right. I'm not going to spend a ton of time going over all this stuff, but you get the point, right? If you want to put a little image over here, you can go screen capture it off somewhere else. And now, in fact, that's how we're going to get this into access is just use a screen capture tool. I personally use Hypersnap, but there's the uh, snip and sketch that comes with Windows. All right. I got a whole separate video on how to do this. But I like Hypersnap, so I'm going to hit my Hypersnap key and I'm going to just pick the corners. All right, come down here and pick that corner. And that snips it to my clipboard. I'm going to flip back over to Access, right click Design View. I'm just going to delete the one that's in here right now. Goodbye. 
and then I'm going to click on the background and hit paste. Now, when this comes in, if it's not the right size, I recommend don't resize it in access. All right, because you could do that. You could it'll it's it's set the clip right now. There's clip, there's stretch, and there's zoom. You're never going to be happy with any of these options. Okay, so what I suggest is resize it either in your snip and sketch tool or just resize it in Word and take another screenshot. All right, so delete that. Come back over to Word, right? And just zoom out. Look at zoom out. So that's about the size that you want it. And this is going to look the best. All right, that's about the size I want the button in access, right? You can flip over here and take a peek. Yeah, that's good. All right, now again, do your screen capture. And you can use the keys with, with Hypersnap. You can use the keys to move back and forth like that. Put it right about where you want it with the mouse and then use the arrow keys. Perfect. Come back over here, paste it in, and look at that. That looks perfect. Let's put it right down here. Okay. There you go. And again, I'm not a graphic artist. I can make simple buttons and some simple logos and stuff, but that's, you know, you, you see my, my PowerPoint slides. That's about the limit of my uh, artistic ability when it comes to stuff like this. I know enough to get the job done. Now, over here, I'm going to change the special effect from sunken to raised because then I think it looks more like a button, just the way that it appears, All right? This, this visually looks like a button, right? All right, let's give it a good name. It's OLE Unbound 17 right now. Come in here. Let's change this to uh, Trek button, Trek BTN, okay? And then to make it so it jumps to your website, all you gotta do is come down here and find the hyperlink address. There's a sub address in Target too, I almost never use those. That's if you want it to jump to like a specific spot on the page. But I'm just gonna come in here and in the hyperlink address, type in where you want it to go. HTTPS colon slash slash uh, 599cd.com. And save it, close it, open it. And look at that, you get your little finger over the button now, all right, see that, all right, yeah. And then just click. And then my shiny face appears. See, look at that. We. And that's it. That's all you really got to do to put a button anywhere on your, uh, on your, on your form or a logo, right? Picture, whatever you want. Now, kind of boring just having that little logo sitting there, isn't it? Right? Wouldn't it be nice if when you moved your mouse over it, it changed a little? Ooh, look at that little little hover effect. See that? Wouldn't that be cool? Right? And also when you click on it, if the button like went like, like you're pushing a button. See that? You see that little thing right there when I clicked on it, right? I clicked, I went down and back up again. Oh, isn't that neat? You want to learn how to do that? I will show you how to do both of those things in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's hundreds of them, folks. Hundreds of them. I'll show you how to do a little hover effect. So when we hover over the image, it changes a little bit. We'll have the border change, right? And then the push button effect, it'll, it'll push down and back up again. All right. Now that will unfortunately require a little programming, but not a lot, like maybe six lines of code. Okay. It's not tough. If you want to learn more about this stuff, I cover a lot more with the custom main menu and adding logos and all that kind of stuff in my access beginner level seven class. So check it out. I'll put a link down below. But that will be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button.
you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.